start? Okay, I'm recording. Yeah, we can start. Okay. So, good morning today. I, Sierra Pop, and my friends Pabitita are going to present about the biogeography assignment with the topic of the endemic species in Japan. First, what is endemism? Endemism is the conditions of being endemic or restricted in geographical distributions to a specific area or specific, specific regions. And in this case, we choose Japan. So the geography of Japan is that Japan is surrounded by oceans because it is the island countries and the areas are mostly rugged or mountainous. There's around 66% of the forestal areas and there are varieties of climate from humid continental to humid subtropical or tropical rainforest. And these differences in the climate and landscape lead to the development of the both flora and fauna with some of the endemic species towards this area. And the three chosen species that we choose are Japanese weasel, Yiso cigar deer, and lastly, the Japanese dormouse. First, the Japanese weasels or Mustela itasi. These animals are mainly found from top to the bottom of Japan. They are nocturnal animals with the sensitive ears and nose to detect the prey such as chickens. And they bo their body do not store fat, therefore they have to hunt constantly for the food. But they tend to hunt more than what they need, therefore they would have the habit of saving the leftovers. They like to take another animal nest or burrows and make it their own. And next is the Yiso Sika deer or the Cervus nippon yisoensis. The animal is one of the subspecies of the Sika deer, which is inhibited to the Hokkaido Island. The antler are found in males, while for the female, they would have two small bumps on their head instead. They can use the antlers and their hoops as the protections towards the predators and their main predator, predators are tigers, wolves, and humans. But in Japan, there are no tigers in the wild. And for the wolf, the wolves were exterminated uh, for a long time ago. Therefore, the only predator left for this species is human. So next we'll talk about the Japanese dormas or the Gilirias japonicus. These animals are nocturnal and usually live alone. Uh, they mainly live on trees uh, by making nests in wasps old nests or in rock crevices on broad leaf trees or on the rock of forest um, lands in Japan. When winter comes around, usually around four, 12 to 14 degrees Celsius, they hibernate underground on fallen leaves, tree holes or on people's futons. In nearby houses. They usually feed on insects, birds, eggs, fruits, seeds, and extractors. So let's focus on why these uh, Japanese dormas are endemic to Japan. The main simple reason is that it's due to continental drift. Um, they, usually, they started to descend from Europe uh, to Asia in the Paleogen period, around 66 million years ago. So there would be dormas in Europe, Central Asia, and the East Asia. And over time, these continents will drift apart, uh, as well as Japan, uh, present-day Japan, separating from the North China block, as you can see in the right-hand corner. Um, this meant that the species of dormas that was in the Far East would eventually become separated from their um, ancestors and become their own species. Uh, and another reason may be due to the lack of predators, since they usually live in areas which, uh, with lower population density and the areas do not usually have food that are abundant or reliable for the predators to eat. 
Uh, thank you for listening and that's it for presentation. These are our references. Thank you.